disconnect your phone from your computer and restart your phone and computer and then try reconnecting your phone and this time use a different USB port. You can also try changing the cable. Uh, change your cable, use a different cable and see if you can use another port. Try different ports that are available on your computer and do carefully listen for the sound that Windows make while you connect a USB port and when you disconnect a USB device. So if you hear any sound, it means that you have a driver issue rather than a hardware issue. You can look into the micro USB port on your device, see if there is any kind of dirt. Clean that up. You can use a small cotton swab in rubbing alcohol and you can clean that up. Don't forget to dry up the device for at least two hours before attempting to re-power on the device. Plug your device into PC and see if you get any notification to connect the device. On your device, see if you can select the MTP option or you can choose a different option because the option name can vary from device to device. It can be transfer files or device file manager. If you get any prompt like to connect the device, choose MTP or you can pull out the notification area, tap on the USB options and select transfer media files which is MTP option. It can be a different name. Uh, you can ch decide whatever suits the best to use as MTP option. So once you have tapped MTP option or the transfer files option from your device, you should see your device listed in your My Computer window. Uh, you can browse your device contents from here. You can also go to Device and Printers window from your control panel. See if the device is listed with its name or as an un unknown device or maybe it is uh, highlighted as unspecified device. If that is so, you need to open the device manager on your computer. Look for the portable devices option and expand the node. Right click on the device listed here and click on update driver software. Choose Browse My Computer for the driver software. On the next screen, click on Let Me Pick from a list of devices and in the devices list, click on MTP USB device. Follow the wizard and complete the installation process. Since we are already installing the drivers, let's make sure we get the latest ones. While you are in Device Manager, right click on the device under Portable Devices and click on Uninstall. Once it is uninstalled, disconnect your device and plug it back again. It should automatically get installed and it should be listed under the Portable Devices node. Click on that, right click and click on Update. Once you are done, uh, try connecting your device again and see if you can browse the contents. And if these options haven't worked for you and you are still struggling to browse the contents or get your device connected, maybe you are missing a Windows 10 uh, MSI. Uh, this is the media feature pack for Windows 10. It is sometimes mis missing in different versions of Windows 10. The link is given in this video. Use the link and download the package and you can install the MSU following the wizard. It's pretty simple. So let's download it and install it.
So some Android devices which are particularly older version, uh, they will let you connect as a USB mass storage device just like we plug in any external SD card or flash drive. So instead of recognizing your device as an Android, your PC will treat it like mass storage volume and it will mount it accordingly just like a flash drive. So, you know, you won't be able to do things like connecting smartphone, PC suite or, you know, but you can, you know, move files back and forth. Uh, just, you know, uh, go, go into your My Computer, browse through your mobile as a mass storage and you can copy and take back up of your files from there. And uh, for the next matter, just go to Settings and uh, tap on the about phone in the settings menu or you can tap on about device tap seven times on the build number doing this will enable the developer options if these are not yet enabled on your device so once you have tapped seven times go back and you will see developer options turn on the USB debugging, debugging mode and reconnect your device with your computer When you connect your phone with PC, you will get the prompt. Just allow that. Hope this will help you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.